Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby and today we're taking a look at the Yakima Off-Grid Roof Cargo Basket on our 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. So obviously the Ford Bronco Sport, pretty nice vehicle. The one thing I'll say to it though, not a lot of room, especially as you start getting a lot of people in here, uh, just not that much cargo space, honestly. I mean, it's decent, I'll give you that, but one thing you could do, do yourself a favor, upgrade, start getting yourself just a little bit more room on the inside of your vehicle and get all that big bulky cargo here on the top of your roof. So with this guy, you are gonna have an 165 pound weight capacity. That's gonna be excellent if we wanna go ahead, throw those big coolers up on here, uh, dry bags, anything else. And at the very top too, you are seeing these adapter bars at the very top. So that's one thing that Yakima kind of gives a leg up on on a lot of different roof baskets out there. You're not just limited to just cargo. If we wanted to, we could throw something like the Yakima High Road on here or a different other style or a different bike carrier on top of our roof basket. So we're a kayak carrier. Now that might be pushing it a little bit with just that height kind of requirement. But honestly, really, really like those accessory bars. Allow you to really take full advantage of this entire system. One thing I really like about the off-grid here, you do have a very nice kind of design choice in here. So yes, it looks pretty sporty, uh, but also it's a lot of great tie-down points. So our cam buckles, our ratchet straps, gonna be able to hook in right there with our S-hooks, a lot of different contact points, which is great. And with those accessory bars too, you can shift those around however you want to and actually start utilizing them to compartmentalize your cargo basket, which is really great. Well guys, one thing I really like about the Yakima off-grid as well is how easy it actually is to get installed. So why don't we hop on up and see how we can do that. To get your off-grid installed, it's gonna be really straightforward. Obviously, you're gonna have to do a little assembly from the box, but it becomes really easy just to get these guys slotted in together. And then basically what you're gonna do is set this on top of your roof rack system. You're gonna slide these guys in position. One thing that's nice about them, they can adjust this whole length that you guys are seeing of where they're, they're at. And that allows you to go ahead and actually place your crossbars however you want, or your roof rack system. All we have to do then is take our rubber coated metal strip here underneath our roof rack, slot it in here at the top, just like you guys are seeing, and bring this up. Now, if you guys need to loosen it or tighten it, you can do so with this little thread right here. Makes that really easy to do so. Make sure that plate's all the way shifted. And then we just simply bring that across like that, bring our plate in, and that's got us nice and secured. Now, the only thing we could do more at this point is to actually go ahead and put in our locking core. So if you guys wanna go ahead and like I said, secure this to your, your, secure your carrier to your roof rack when you leave it unattended, you guys could go ahead, grab yourself some Yakima locking cores, and of course, you can get those key to like to any of your other accessories. So now that we have it all this way installed, let's go ahead and see what we're kind of interacting with here on the roof of our Ford Bronco Sport. Now, obviously we have about 39 inches for our internal length. Now how we're getting that though, we are kind of keeping you from this fairing here that will break down in just a little bit. For our width, we should be looking at going straight across from inside to inside, 38 inches across. And for our depth here today, we are gonna be sitting at right about, sorry, my hand might be blocking you there guys right at five inches for ourselves to the very end here from the inside of our carrier. So definitely gonna be a lot of room to go ahead and start putting our cargo away, I should say. And at the top here, like I mentioned, we do have our fairing. Now that's doing a great job, hopefully cutting down that wind drag so we have no issues. One thing I really like about it too, really, really easy to take off. Uh, around here, you're seeing these little kit clips all around the side. Those become easy just to pop off get that fairing out of the way, and then we can start utilizing our open front with our open back and start carrying some of our longer items. So even lumber could be great in here, maybe a stand-up paddleboard, something like that, that really needs that length. We're gonna have no issue popping that fairing off in no time and getting full use out of it. Now, I really do like the Akama off-grid on here, not only because of its nice looks, but it's actually interacting really well with our Ford Bronco Sport. Now, what do I mean by that? Obviously, we have our second tiered roof here that's kind of getting up out of the way, and we still have a little bit of room there on the back end going towards our antenna. Um, but at the front here, you do have about 20 inches extra length already. So. Right now, we have a lot of good access to our sunroof, so if we wanted to, we can go ahead, just keep it as it is. We could even shift this back maybe a couple inches, just a little bit, to really get that full use of that sunroof. But if that's something you don't want, one thing you could also do is really start maximizing your cargo space here on your car by going ahead and adding the attachment that actually slots in the middle of this guy and gives you that extension, about 18 inches or so. And again, that's gonna sit perfectly here. Get about 20 inches in the front, three or so in the back, so definitely plenty of room for that cargo basket extension. Just keep in mind that we'll start interacting with your sunroof. 
Overall, guys, I think the Yakima Off-Grid is an excellent roof basket. Again, I like the look, but it's also great that we have that high weight capacity. The accessory bars make it really easy to start organizing all of our things and not limiting us to just carrying cargo. We're gonna have an A-OK -okay time throwing up different accessories on here, which is awesome. So very, very versatile. Again, the black powder, powder coat on this steel construction means it's gonna be holding up really, really well. You guys can see a little nicks and dings on here though, right? That's basically because we've just been, you know, putting this on concrete too much, not treating it quite right. So if you guys want this to keep lasting for the years to come, just treat it a little nicer than we have. And uh, again, it will last you quite a while. Any black powder cone is going to start degrading if you're not careful with it. But if you are, it'll last you for a long time, which is excellent. Overall, really, really like this basket. And I really love that I can start adding locking cores on here. And that way I can secure it to the roof of my, of my vehicle when I leave it unattended. Overall, just a really great system to get you and your cargo to wherever you want to go. Otherwise, though, guys, I think that about does it for our look at the Yakima Off-Grid Roof Mounted Cargo Basket on our 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. I'm Bobby. Thank you for watching.